Well, now to a special report. The Bay Area watched Bachelorette Mary Delgado's love story back in 2004 when a pro fisherman proposed to the Tampa resident. But then her life unraveled, a domestic violence charge, DUI, and a failed engagement. Well, tonight, Mary's speaking for the first time, and our Serena Fazan introduces us to the man who finally made her fairy tale come true. I did kind of fall off the face of the earth. Mary Delgado looks much the same as she did when we first met her in 2004. Cheers. But moments she never imagined she would face. And I wish that people wouldn't judge me based on those things um, that happened. Changed this former Buccaneer cheerleader and two-time bachelorette. I was falling into a depression, and, you know, depression, it's, it's no joke. It's my final rose. She recalls when the Bay Area embraced her after pro fisherman Byron Velvick proposed. We're going to be together forever. But romance unraveled, even getting ugly. During a five-year courtship, Mary faced multiple arrests, charged with battery against Byron and DUI. Humiliated, she locked herself away, slowly realizing... I was trying to make myself happy, and I think there was a big pressure also to, to have a successful relationship for the sake of TV and the show. She refuses to say anything bad about her former fiance, only saying the two dealt with trust issues. My advice to girls that are going through a depression and that are staying in a relationship that they shouldn't be in is just, you know, talk to your loved ones, um, seek advice, uh, don't hold it in. She opened up to family and then she started sharing her story with someone else, a man named James. So I didn't really care about what had happened in the past because really, Everything I saw was so contradictory to what was out there. James's support helped build back Mary's confidence. And I told her, I was like, you can't let this show dictate who you are for the rest of your life. You've gone into the shell and you can't let that, you know, define you. And now this couple is building something else. I now pronounce you husband and wife. On December 31st, Mary and James tie the knot in Cuba. I would like to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Cordominas. That's the most at peace I think I'd felt in, in as long as I can remember. Here we are, married now, three months, and I can't wait to sit here with you, Serena, and say, oh, we've been married for 30 years, girly. <laughs> it's come full circle. She told me when we first met. I, oh, I always believe everything happens for a reason. So. Despite her bumpy road. Life is about making mistakes, learning from those mistakes, and not repeating those mistakes. Mary knows fairy tales do come true. I'd go through it 10,000 times in order to find him. Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.